Hey, how's it everyone? And um, today we are here at Pearl Harbor and we're gonna go take a tour of the Arizona Memorial. I decided to come here today and uh, check it out before all the tourists come back. So October 15, Hawaii is set to reopen back to tourism. Wow, would you just take a look at this? Now, normally this place is full of visitors from all over the world here to pay their respects. But due to the pandemic, uh, Hawaii really hasn't had many visitors, you know, the way we used to. And so today we have this place pretty much to ourselves. Now before everyone comes back and all the crowds come back to Hawaii, I wanted to come down here to the Arizona and uh, pay my respects, have a chance to just kind of enjoy this uh, historic place. So today we're going to be taking a tour of the Arizona Memorial. Hi, sir. Morning. Did you have a reservation for the 9 o'clock? Uh, I don't, but the gentleman oh, okay. over there said just to come over here. Yeah, just have a seat anywhere on the benches over here. Thank you, sir. We'll be getting underway here pretty soon. Okay, great. Thank you. Pearl Harbor was attacked on Sunday morning, December 7, 1941, at 7.55 a.m. This year marks the 79th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor. There were eight Navy battleships in Pearl Harbor that took damage that day. Um, of the four that were sunk, the USS Arizona was the only one that remained at the bottom of the ocean. The attack on Pearl Harbor marked the United States' formal entry into World War II. At that time, Hawaii was still a territory of the United States of America. The Arizona Memorial was built in 1962, and typically it's visited by more than 2 million people per year. One thousand one hundred seventy seven Americans were killed aboard the Arizona that morning, and today one thousand one hundred two of those sailors remain resting down there with their ship.
you look over there, that is the USS Missouri, or the, uh, the, the Mighty Mo. Every day since the attack, an estimated half gallon of oil per day has been leaking from the USS Arizona. The National Park Service predicts that the Arizona will continue to bleed oil for another 500 years. Thank you to the brave men who sacrificed their lives and so much to protect our freedoms. We shall always remember you and we shall never forget. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and we'll see you in the next one.